Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Sipin and I work with Informatica GCST. In this video, we'll be introducing a new capability which is enabled from 2024 July release onwards. The deletion of glossary assets associated with a DQ score and a parent-child relationship using a bulk import method. Without further ado, let's move on to the next slide. What's new? So there are two scenarios that are listed here. The business asset with DQ score and the business asset with the DQ score and it has an incoming parent-child relationship. Both the scenarios, we can delete it through the bulk import method now. Currently, these above two scenarios are supported from UI from Feb release onwards. In 2024-02 release onwards, the customer can directly delete such assets from the UI. But from the July release onwards, we have enhanced the feature and it is possible through bulk import method optionals. How can we achieve this? So in order to achieve this, first the customer has to export the particular asset you wanted to delete. And once the file is exported, just go ahead and modify the file and go to the operation section. Just select the operation as delete and save it back and import the sheet back again. And once the import is completed, you will be able to see the particular asset has deleted successfully. So this is a screenshot I captured from the CDGC UI and this is a business term having a DQ result object associated. And this is an example for a business term having inbound parent-child relationship along with the DQ result object. So we have a DQ result object here and the parent-child relationship you can see it here. The subdomain is a parent and business term is a child and subdomain is a child of a domain here. So business asset can be exported and any user having a crude permission on asset can delete through bulk import. So this is a snapshot uh, captured from the exporter sheet. You can see the operation column here. You will be able to choose the values from the drop down list, choose the delete option, click on save it. Okay, let's move on to the demo. This is a CDGC UI and this is the business term or the glossary asset we are going to delete through the bulk import method today. So in order to do that, first you have to search that business term on the search window. It will show you the search result. And from here, you can just click on export, then click on start export. So you will see a pop-up here, the export job has started and uh, you'll see a link of also here job status once you click on it it will take you to the particular export job so currently it is zero percent complete once it is completed you will be able to see it is 100 percent and you'll be able to see a download button on the top right so i will take you to some old export job section so this is one as i mentioned 100 percent completed download export file is there just click on download export file it will download that particular asset export once it is downloaded open the file and go to the extreme right the first part you will be able to see reference id the glossary name the parent all those details and the operations will be at the end if you can see the operation column here and if you click on that uh, cell you will be able to see a drop down option so update and delete by default it will be update so you can choose the delete option and click on save it after that you can go back to the cdgc and click on new go to import asset click on import asset then here you can choose that particular file and click on start import option here and the error handling you can choose skip errors and warning and click on the start import so the import job is running over here so once it is completed you'll be able to see the deleted count will be one over here so now the job has completed you can see one deleted object and let's go back to the business term and refresh the page.
now this particular asset has been deleted. That's all about this demo. We would love to hear from you. Please reach us out using the below two links. Thank you.